Listen to the Hello. Welcome back to another pen talk. Welcome back to a uh, familiar topic with a little twist. We always try to do something a little bit different. And this pen I bought primarily to show you a pen that you may or may not like. It's really uh, a nice box, and we recognize that uh, Jinhao Chariot logo. The sleeve comes off, and now we have a larger logo, identified for those that might not recognize the logo. It opens up. There's no um, magnet or anything, but it closes nicely. And to me, this is a, definitely a gift pen. A pen that's designed to be showy, uh, the the you know in some type of gift packaging. Pen is secured within this nice velvet material here. Yeah, it's cardboard. It looked like there may have been a magnet in there, but there's not. So this is the pen. We'll slide off the sleeve. The first thing you notice is it's not a light pen. This thing has some heft to it. And obviously you'll notice the ornate dragon design because this is a Jin Hao dragon pen. It feels substantial. And here's something that I haven't noticed before is a nice Jin Hao logo there at the bottom of the barrel. You know, again, uh, they're definitely upping their game. Just a plain uh, gold cap at the other end. So the first thing you got to figure out is how to untake un it apart. Oh, so this logo is at the top of the cap, not at the bottom of the barrel. This unscrews, and we see, to me, the first disappointment with the pen is that's a very, very small section with a step up, um, may not be a pen that designed for writing with, and uh, nice looking two-tone Jinhao nib. The cap screws back onto the barrel, so it does post very securely, and it does fit in the hand well. Um, I would say you can live with that section. I mean, it's a small section. It's short. But, you know, you don't get this pen primarily for writing. You get it because of the dragons. And they are very ornate. Be nice to see some color other than like this kind of pewter look with some black lacquer in it. But it is, it is done well. And if they added more color to it, then it may be a little bit too over the top or too garish. But kind of hard to imagine that's the case with this incredible relief on the pen. I mean, it's a lot of dimension there. And probably in some circles, this would make an excellent gift. And I think that is exactly what it was designed for. The uh, small section on screws, and we see your typical Jin Hao converter. Yeah, it works well. Nice, there's a little um, lacquered brass looking uh, top to the converter with uh, a logo in it. So again, there's nice little design features that kind of make the pen have a little bit of a different appeal than the typical uh, Chinese pens I've been looking at, which are more low end. But you know, at $11, this is certainly not high end. We'll show you that auction. I got it quickly in uh, less than two weeks, which is also nice. And it does, I mean, the parts are very well made. They, they fit together very well. This cap has some decent weight to it. This is, looks like it's a brass cap that's lacquered, so it, it's metal on metal threading. And when the pen is together, it's really hard to say exactly what this is. I mean, you know it's a pen because I told you it was a pen, but if this was lying on a desk, you might think it was something else. Don't know exactly what that is. We'll pose that as a question to my viewers. If you saw this sitting there, what would be your first thoughts? Um, 
So let's uh, ink this baby up and uh, see how it this nib writes on paper. So let's just see what this puppy weighs. Wow, almost 67 grams. Yeah, the glare there may not let you see that actual weight, but it's not a lightweight pen. It probably is the heaviest pen that I have in my collection. I uh, took this apart. Well, I took the converter off to clean it. So when I did that, I noticed that uh, this is also made out of brass. So the whole pen is really made out of metal. I think that's one of the things that adds to its weight and its feel and, and obviously to its cost. But, you know, overall, I actually have a little fondness for it, you know, in a, in a bizarre way. Chris, is this the only dragon pen that you own? And the answer is no. A few years ago, I picked up this Jin Hao. The dragons are in here is kind of a gold painting. And definitely looks nice. This is a more classical looking pen. It has a clip. But it also has red ruby dragon eyes. It's a nice feature. You may have seen this clip, uh, Wassy Squirrel, as a pen or two with that clip on it. And there are a number of Jin Hao's with that clip. Phenomenal amount of Chinese characters here, which I assume may have a dragon story associated with them, but not something I'm going to be able to interpret. So as we look at this dragon pen, we wonder, hmm, could this dragon also have some ruby eyes? As we look at it, we go, yes, it does. So they are definitely a very interesting little detail feature in this pen. And one can imagine that waking up and seeing this in your bedroom window may not be something that would be considered a pleasant dream. I don't know. You uh, People that are into dragons may consider that to be a great dream. But... I just have to be impressed with, I mean, the detail and quality is great. If Montegrappa made this pen, it would sell for probably 20 times more than Jin Hao is selling it for. But that's what uh, the nice feature of a Chinese pen is, is they can produce some incredible little interesting pieces of artwork. And they can sell it for a price which is extremely reasonable to us in the Western world. I have to admit that this pen has grown on me in the short time that I've sat here playing with it and doing the video, and maybe it also has grown on you. I wanted to bring out the detail in the top of the cap. That is pretty impressive. Trying to get the light to, to really show it off well. It's extremely well done. I mean, nice detail. Um, again, uh, the more I look at the pen, the more I'm intrigued with the level of quality and the uh, arts, artsmanship, craftsmanship in the making of the pen. And those of you who have been watching my videos know that there's one ink I've been putting in every pen's. I don't know, sometimes you just fall in love with an ink and just use it. And it does work well. I'm not going to show the filling of the converter. Because it's the same as filling of any converter. It works well. So let's uncap. Definitely would post this pen because this small cap could easily roll away, get lost, and you wouldn't want to have that happen. And with that small weight of the cap and that small cap, the balance doesn't change at all. And it fits nicely in the hand. I have to admit that I'm holding it up by the very 3D relief dragons, and they feel fine. Um, so let's uh, drag this nib across some paper and see what ink we can lay.
I'm impressed. This nib works as good, if not better, than any Jinhao nib I've ever used. It's extremely smooth. And it's wet. So, as much as I may have had my misgivings about this pen being a great writer, it is. I constantly don't use the W right. So, I just have to admit that for $11, I'm impressed. I mean, holding this in your hand, you can't but just be amazed, enthralled, intrigued. You know, you can spend a couple hundred dollars for a Game of Thrones pen, or you could buy this and pass it off as a Game of Thrones pen. There's no way to say otherwise. So, thank you all for watching. I'll let it focus on the paper there. So thank you for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey with a pen that I had little expectations about but turned out to impress the shit out of me. Maybe YouTube will cut that out, who knows. I don't have a commercial channel so I can say what I want. I mean, that's good and we need to do one last visit on the head of the dragon. And see those ruby eyes just coming at us. I have it on uh, telephoto so it doesn't focus as easily, but certainly eyes of fire. So we're reaching the end of this video. And after the end, I'm going to be able to continue to enjoy this pen. And maybe if you decide to participate in it and buy it you can enjoy it too so until next time enjoy your writing experiences explore the incredible world of pens as this one is in indicative of pens ink and paper who knew where they can go bye